I know y'all think I have lost my mind, and I probably have, <laughs> a long time ago. But I'm telling you, I'm really excited about this recipe. This is a wonderful way to use up some of your green tomatoes that are coming off here in the fall. Uh, you know, some of us have got quite a few, and we're like, I've already put up relish, and, uh, you know, you like to fried green tomatoes, and a lot of people can their green tomatoes for fried green tomatoes on into the winter. But sometimes you just need that little extra recipe because you just have a couple handfuls of uh, green tomatoes left over. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a mock apple pie out of green tomatoes. Now, is that crazy or what? But they're telling me it tastes just like an apple pie. So we're going to try it. And I've got, the recipe calls for about two pounds of thinly sliced uh, green tomatoes. Kind of like what, how you would slice an apple up for your apple pie. But this is what I've got. And I know it's probably a little over two pounds, but this is what I'm going to cut up. I'm not going to waste any of it. So I've washed my green tomatoes. And I'm going to be using a... Uh, a nine inch pie pan and what you're going to do is just take them and just cut them in half or what, whatever's easier for you and uh, just cut them up now the recipe says to put peeling and seed all of it in there and that's so I'm going to do exactly how the recipe says so we're just going to cut these up as thinly as we can and this pie is going to cook just like a regular apple pie. It's going to cook at 375 for 50 to 60 minutes. So I'm going to get the rest of these cut up. And then we're going to go on with the rest of the recipe. And I'm so excited. I've never done this before. But it's an excellent way to use up them green tomatoes. That's all them green tomatoes cut up. And I cut them up pretty thin, just like you would if you was make, making an apple pie. But it's so pretty. And this is more than two pounds, but I'm just gonna go with it because that's what I had and I wanna go ahead and use them. And it, it says in the recipe to use the pulp, the seed, the uh, skin and everything so that's what we're doing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour this in this bowl and it said to use any of the juice that's left in the bowl go ahead and put it in the pie too so what we got we've got a cup of brown sugar we got a third of a cup of all-purpose flour i'm going to put a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to put a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I've got some apple pie spice here that I've got made up, which has got nutmeg and allspice and all that in it. And I'm going to put about a teaspoon of that in there too. It's got cloves. And it also says to put a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in it. So we're going to do that. We got everything in there, so I'm just going to take my hands and we're just going to toss this around just like you would do an apple pie. And you know, <clears throat> they call these mock apple pies, and these have been around for ages. Uh, they also they have recipes that you use rich crackers with. Um, there's recipes out there for using squash, like zucchini, to make a mock apple pie with, which would be interesting. And it's already smelling so good. Now, I could probably put a little bit more brown sugar in this because I used a little bit more than two pounds of cut up tomatoes. But we're going to call it good. I mean, this is just like... Uh, if you were using a, a tart apple, you're using a tart tomato. 
they have a, uh, I know a lot of y'all have read the Little House on the Prairie books by Laura Engel Wilder. And Carolyn makes a mock apple pie out of green pumpkin. So if you can make apple pie out of green pumpkin, surely you can out of green tomatoes. <laughs> so I think I've got that stirred up good. My hands are really sticky. But I've got this great towel scarf right here on me. Now you just need a nine inch and I've got a deep dish uh, pie crust. And this is gonna be full, y'all. We're gonna pull all, pour all them juices in there. And this will cook down. I'm just gonna pile it up in there. Need me a spoon. Oh, I had one, here's one. I'm just gonna kinda push this around. Get them down in there. If you think you might like a little bit more cinnamon, a little more brown sugar, you go right ahead and put it on there. So you can see how it's worked its way down in the crust already. So, let's see. I've got just a little sprinkling of white sugar I'm gonna put here on top. And then I'm gonna take, put me some butter. I don't know if y'all can hear me. My, my microphone was underneath my scarf. Sorry about that. Put me some little pats of butter on here. So have your oven heating at 375. You know, I'm thinking about putting just a little bit more cinnamon on top of mine. Just because I love cinnamon. There we go. Now we're going to get the top half of our pie. And I just lost my microphone. I'm having a heck of a time with my mic this morning, today. So we're going to put it over there for right now. Okay, here's our top crust, and you can do it any way you want to. I'm going to fold it under. I'm going to have one beaten egg. Now, I don't know if y'all have ever had a mock apple pie, but uh, they used to do it out of brown beans too. <laughs> I mean, when back in the day when you just didn't have anything, you done whatever it took. You just done the best you could for your kids, your family. And if it meant making an apple pie out of green tomatoes or crackers or beans or squash, whatever, you just do it. You think outside of that box when you have to. So I'm just going to keep tucking this under. I'm going to get my, get me an egg. Get me a knife to poke a few holes up here. You know, it, it is so helpful to have recipes like this when you've got just a little bit of this and a little bit of that left over in, from the garden. Oops. 
And I'm going to have another recipe too. And it's uh, making small batch of salsa out of just, you know, the leftover few tomatoes that you have left over in your fall garden. And it's a wonderful recipe. It's really easy. Everything come out of the garden. And it's just wonderful. I just water bathed it. And uh, now I've got a few jars of salsa for my late veggies. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take our beaten egg wash. We're just going to smear it on top of this crust. Now, let y'all in on a little secret. Mr. Brown has never ate a mock apple pie made out of green tomatoes. So, this is going to be very interesting, getting his take on it. Because he will tell me the truth. He won't. Just tell me something just to make me feel good. Well, he would, but <laughs> I don't know when it comes to pie, though. Okay. And I think I'm going to take just a little bit more sugar, sprinkle over the top. Who doesn't love a hot apple pie? My oven's ready. It just went off. I'm going to poke me just a few holes on top. Vent holes. And now that I've made a big mess over here, we're going to go stick this in the oven for 50 to 60 minutes. I'm going to put my timer on 50 minutes and then I'll check it. So what do you think? Honestly? My honest opinion is it's really good. You would never think that that was a green tomato in there. It reminds me a little bit like a, almost like a Granny Smith apple, just a little bit. It's got that little tartness to it. It's got just a little bit of tartness to it. And <clears throat> I believe if I just shut my eyes, I wouldn't know that that was a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Texture gets you sometimes, though. Yeah, it don't mean. So, it passes, Your though. Your Granny Smith tomato, uh, apple would have some texture like that, anyway. So, if you didn't have apples, but you had green tomatoes, you can make an apple pie. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> I was too. I was pretty impressed. Never done that before. I sat here and about ate this whole thing. I don't know. I've never ever ate. I taught him you probably y'all you had never ate a green tomato pie, mock apple pie. That's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. <laughs> okay, guys, y'all heard it. I mean. So if y'all got any extra green apples, uh, green apples, <laughs> <laughs> green tomatoes you need to do something with, there you go, make an apple pie with it. I'm impressed with it. It may not be apple pie, but it's close. But it's close. And well, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. Well, they say about being close, it's only close and... Really? <laughs> 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 Close to the only counts in horseshoes or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, y'all try it. I think y'all like it. <laughs>